Hi everyone, it's Katrina. Number 10, Japan's Ushi Oni. The Ushi Oni is notorious for attacking people on the beach. At least that's according to legends. In Japan, this creature is a cruel monster that spits poison. Its preferred way of killing is by biting a person and filling them with toxins until they're dead. In classic Japanese form, the creature looks completely ridiculous. Legend says it has the head of a cow, the body of a demon, or sometimes even reverse, with the body of a cow and the head of a demon. Either way, it is horribly ugly. In the old days, people believed that the Ushioni would appear in front of temple gates dressed in a kimono, then sometimes eat a person. But it was also known to appear pretty much anywhere, from rivers to swamps and woods to groves. Like a lot of myths, people throughout the years have claimed to see the Ushioni with their own eyes. In the Kochi prefecture, a man allegedly witnessed the beast in 1776. There was a severe drought that year, and the land had fallen under tough times. To make things worse, the Ushi Oni showed up and started killing cattle and biting villagers to death. Then a samurai came and shot the Ushi Oni with an arrow, killing it immediately. This strange encounter was the start of the Momote Sai Festival, a ceremony that celebrates the first use of a bow and arrow every year. Number 9. The Native American Ghost Witch in the lore of Native Americans, from the Algonquin tribes to those of the Mi'kamak, there are stories of a mythological creature called a ghost witch. For the Wabanaki tribes, they called this monster a Skadigamut. This witch was the worst of the worst, a type of undead creature that was created when an evil magician refused to remain dead. After the magician's death, he or she came back to life as a twisted and horribly ugly monster. The Skadegamut would come by at night and throw curses at anyone they came across. The only way to get rid of one of these horrible ghost witches was to set it on fire. But according to legends, this was easier said than done. Even as an undead monster, the ghost witch retained its skills as a magician. It also didn't like to come out in the open, but preferred to stalk people going through grief. It would hang out at funerals and then follow people home terrorizing them to make their grief even worse. Perhaps the strangest characteristic of the undead witch is that it needs to feed on human blood, just like a European vampire. Native Americans were coming up with similar monsters as the Europeans hundreds of years ago. For some strange reason, everyone on Earth seemed to be scared of mythological creatures sucking their blood at night. Number 8. La Segua La Segua are monstrous females, evil women who come out at night to spread terror wherever they go. The myth of La Segua likely originated in Nicaragua, and some people even still believe in these monsters today. Segua are basically just ghosts, but very specific ghosts. They are the angry spirits of women who died so full of hate that they had no choice but to come back after death to seek revenge. When they come at night, they appear dressed in horse hair. They search for whichever man it was that betrayed them before they died. These ghostly women will even work together so that they can terrorize the evil men in their lives. In general, they wait until their victim is drunk. Then the ghost tries to seduce them. La Segua are also able to get inside their victim's heads, making them scream, laugh, or act insane. When a man in Nicaragua is acting like an idiot, a fool, or strangely erratic, it's said that a segua messed with his mind in revenge. But since this is a myth we're talking about, it's important to mention another version of the creature. Some say la segua is actually a witch that lives in the woods with the face of a horse. She walks through the forest and back roads naked, pulling male victims into the darkness. When she speaks to them with her ghostly horse face, the men are so terrified that they instantly go insane and never recover. In all versions of the myth, La Segua is a ghostly female who preys on male victims, turning them crazy one way or another. Number 7. German Alp An Alp is a terrible vampire-like monster from German mythology. It's also kind of like an incubus, a sort of demon. But it's unique in that it wears a magical hat that gives it power. Its hat is called a Tarnkape, opposite of the Nicaraguan La Segua. An Alp is typically male and its victims are female. 
It will attack ladies during the night by controlling their dreams and turning them into the worst nightmares imaginable. The Alp will climb onto the chest of a sleeping woman and gradually become heavier and heavier until its crushing weight finally wakes them from their nightmare. Once awake, sometimes they are still unable to move. Here's where the myth of the Alp gets really interesting. It's hard to trace most mythological animals or monsters back to their source, but this one is kind of self-explanatory. All the symptoms of an Alp attack are the same as symptoms of sleep apnea and sleep paralysis. It's believed that the creation of the Alp, a tiny monster similar to an elf that sits on a person's chest and feeds them evil dreams, was just a way to explain the terror people feel when experiencing sleep paralysis. Rather than explain it scientifically, since they couldn't, they made up this little monster. A phenomenon as simple as sleep paralysis spawned a creature absolutely bizarre, with way too many characteristics. Another thing that Alps were said to do was tangle hair into knots for fun. They also occasionally chewed on horse tails. Number 6. The Aswang Aswang is the name of a terrifying ghoul from the Philippines. It's the most feared creature from Philippine folklore, known for stalking men and women alike through the nighttime jungle, sometimes breaking into people's homes and slinking from shadow to shadow in small villages. You probably would never hear about Aswang in the big cities. People in Manila aren't scared of these monsters. But even centuries after the myth began, rural communities in the Philippines still believe that Aswang lurk in the darkness at night. They see these creatures as evil, shape-shifting monsters that share characteristics with werewolves and vampires, though they look more like mutant swamp ghouls. The sad part is that there is no consistent image of the monster because descriptions of it change based on region and village. But there is one thing that people do agree on. These creatures only kill at night, taking on the form of a human being during the day so that they can blend in with regular people. When night comes, they shift into their ghoul form, hunt down somebody walking by themselves before feasting on their flesh and drinking their blood. The only way to tell an Aswang from a normal person in the daytime is to look directly into their eyes. If you see your reflection is upside down, you are staring into the face of a monster. Number 5. The Hydra The Hydra is one of the coolest and creepiest creatures from Greek mythology. It's also one that has always captured our imaginations. But the truth behind how the Hydra was created is not something most people know. In the myth, the Hydra is a creature born of the Titans, Typhon, and Echidna. It's a water monster with nine heads, with one of them being immortal. It lived in the marshes near the Greek city of Argos, occasionally coming out of the water to eat livestock. Anyone who tried to cut the head off the Hydra was shocked to find that two would grow back in its place. This made the creature pretty much undefeatable. The only one who ever did best the Hydra was Hercules, along with the help of his nephew Lolaus. Hercules was smart enough to know that when he chopped one head off, he needed to burn the wound so that no heads could emerge. His nephew helped him to do this until only the immortal head remained. Then, Hercules cut that one off and buried it under a rock so that it could never regrow itself. If this myth is to be believed, the head of the Hydra is still buried somewhere in Greece, just waiting to escape its rocky prison. Number 4. Gollum A Gollum is a monster from Jewish mythology, a creature made of clay that has been brought to life by magic. The Hebrew word Gollum translates to something unfinished. In Jewish mythology, the story of the Gollum goes back to a pair of Jewish mystics who learned how to create a baby cow from nothing but earth as they traveled through the inhospitable desert. They did this by speaking a special formula from the Book of Creation, making a cow from nothing so that they could eat it. The story of the Gollum is actually the origin of the phrase abracadabra. The word is derived from avracadabra, which is Aramaic for, I create as I speak. Jewish mystics believed that under the right circumstances, an ordinary human could bring life to something lifeless by creating a soul. It was an alchemical task in their eyes, something that could only be accomplished by the most skilled magicians. It was rabbis who began creating life from dust in the form of golems. These golems were created by rabbis to defend Jewish communities from attack. They would make giants out of clay, 
then recite spells to turn the huge sculptures to life by giving them a soul. The golems would then protect the Jewish people. But of course, where there is good, there is also bad. Evil magicians could also create golems to cause trouble. Number 3. The Mogollon Monster The Mogollon Monster is a creature that has a lot in common with Bigfoot, only it supposedly lives in Arizona. Reports of a strange creature, huge and hairy like some kind of prehistoric ape, go back to the early 1900s. Specifically, reports began pouring in from around the Mogollon Rim that a cryptid was loose. This is how it got its name. The Mogollon Rim is an area in Arizona that ranges from Yavapai County all the way to New Mexico, and includes mountainous areas, a massive forest of pines, and is regarded as an area full of amazing scenery dating back to the pre-Cambrian era, the perfect stomping grounds for a Sasquatch-like cryptid. The Mogollon Monster is a more recent myth, but it's one that might actually be real. It's also referred to as the Arizona Bigfoot, and it's been described as over 7 feet tall, with bright red eyes, long black hair, and a horrible odor that smells like dead fish, or a very potent skunk. The Arizona Bigfoot is supposed to be nocturnal. It can become violent, and it leaves behind footprints over 22 inches long. It's also notorious for entering campsites after dark and leaving its footprints for campers to find in the morning. There's even been reports of this strange creature throwing stones while hiding in the trees, or leaving decapitated deer lying around to scare people. But the absolute most frightening aspect of the Mogollon monster is its scream. Everyone who has ever had an alleged encounter with the monster has reported hearing an ear-shattering scream like a woman crying out in great distress. And then after, there is an eerie silence where nothing in the forest moves, not even the wind. Number 2. The Irish Leprechaun the leprechaun is a spawn from Irish mythology that we all know but that few of us fully understand. The earliest reference of a leprechaun goes back to the adventures of Fergus, son of Letty. In the adventure, the king of Ulster falls asleep on a beach and wakes up to three ugly creatures dragging him into the water. He overpowers and captures them, at which point they grant him three wishes in exchange for their release. From here, the myth spirals. The leprechaun became a solitary creature known for mending shoes and playing jokes. The reason leprechauns are associated with pots of gold is that they stole treasure buried by Irishmen during times of war and then hoarded it. The leprechauns aren't completely good or completely evil, but instead refer to more as degenerate fairies. Leprechauns are also notorious for taking the forms of old men with great beards. In pop culture, leprechauns are actually small like dwarfs, and this is exactly how they are portrayed in myths. Leprechauns are no taller than three feet, usually dressed in fine red clothing. Number 1. The Mananangal The Mananangal is another vampire-like monster from Philippine mythology, but this one is absolutely horrifying. It's normally depicted as a woman who splits herself into two pieces, her upper torso with wings like a bat and her legs. It uses its great wings to fly through the night looking for victims. It prefers feasting on pregnant women while they sleep, using its extremely long tongue to suck the hearts out of fetuses. But if there are no fetuses around, it will settle for sucking the blood out of whoever it can find. The only way to defeat the terrifying Mananangal is by locating its vulnerable bottom half and then sprinkling salt on its legs. Either that, or if one is able to stop the upper torso from rejoining with the legs before sunrise, the creature will burn up and die. This is one of the strangest iterations of a vampire in any cultural mythology, yet it does share a few similarities with other vampires, such as a fear of garlic, holy water, and sunlight. Thanks for watching! Which of these terrifying mythological creatures do you find the most frightening? Let me know in the comments below! And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye.